Easter blossoms are a nice gift that can also provide a burst of color for spring. And Susie Bachman West is here to share some ideas as uh, we're just bursting with color. This time, yeah. Th this time of year, there's just so many blooming plant options, mm -hmm. cut flowers, uh, gardens to just decorate your home, sure. put on your Easter or Passover table. Um, it's great. And with those traditions, like so many other holidays, um, flowers do play an important yeah. role in traditions yeah. and family gatherings. Absolutely. And what are some of the so. newer flowers kind of out right now so that we can look forward to? Probably the biggest trend is uh, the Easter lily and, and lilies play an important role, sure. but just general blooming and having a garden look to it ah, um, is quite little popular. Little more natural looking. Little more natural, and yeah. then also plants that, especially when we have a late um, holiday, you can then bring them outdoors ah. and use them in your garden. Okay. So any of the lilies, once um, they're done blooming in your home and we're past uh, the fear of a frost, which actually in Minnesota, as you, I'm sure you know, is between May 10th and May 15th. We still have a long ways to go. <laughs> <month>. <laughs> ways to go. But month. they're going to bloom beautifully in your home. You can bring them outside and plant them in your garden. Uh, they won't bloom again this year, but they certainly, they're perennials, they'll come back they'll come next back. year cool. and keep That's blooming. Nice. Very good. As well as the lovely uh, Rieger begonia. That's here, a cool looking one. Um, or the Gerber daisy. Mm. Those are annuals. You can put them uh, outside in your garden and uh, they will be blooming throughout the rest I of the, the season. Nothing sure. to me says spring like tulips do. Tulips are an excellent cut flower yeah. and um, they actually, in my opinion, look the best when they're just single tulips in a vase. Mm. So uh -huh. um, you can certainly mix them with other things, but feel free to just get a couple uh, bunches if you're nervous about arranging or whatever, and um, just put them, them in, in there and yeah. go. them in, the, yeah. Um, yeah. in there. The one thing with tulips is they will continue to grow. So as you do have them in your home, some you need to usually take them out, give them a fresh cut and put them back in because they're going to get uh, I didn't quite know. tall. Start like, yeah. <laughs> what was that? They That's going to go <laughs> <"Bloop." Yeah>, right <laughs> out of the vase. Um, we have excellent, you know, beautiful gardens that uh, if you're going over to someone's home and you want to bring a hostess gift or whatever, where it's just a collection of blooming plants. Oh, and then that. fresh arrangements as well if Always you just good, want right? someone else yeah. to take care of yeah. it for you. That's right. Uh, we'll Susie, you and, know me well. And, That's exactly <laughs> how I like it to go. Well, it looks and, great. Uh, this table, fresh arrangements. The table looks fantastic. Smells yeah. good, too. Thanks, Thank Susie. You. Mm -hmm.